Ric Flair, the four times former champion of the world, as sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance, it'll be Ric Flair and Lex Luger, the current U.S. champion, taking on Shane Douglas and Ron Simmons. And there is the total package, the man that will try to end the career, the illustrious career of Dusty Rhodes on Thanksgiving, and Ron Simmons and Shane Douglas have never, and I repeat, have never been in a tag team match of this magnitude when you consider it's right here on the wrestling network and against two of the infamous four horsemen. Rick Flair starting out with Ron Simmons. Flair reverses it, and what a judo chop to the chest. But Simmons retaliates high elevation. Ron Simmons press slamming Rick Flair. Simmons showing his extraordinary strength. Simmons with that clothesline off the second row. Flair's in trouble. We may have a pin in Luger. Came in at the last instance. Jim, you can't get any closer than that. If Rick Flair hadn't had the total package in the corner there to come out and help him, I, I hate to think what would have happened. Shane Douglas tagged in, and Rick Flair with a quick initiation to this young man from Pittsburgh. Douglas fighting the... The legendary Ric Flair, right hands, back into the corner goes Flair. High elevation, Flair up for the lights one more time. Star kick. You know, Jim, we talk a lot about Star Kid, of course, on Thanksgiving night, but I'd like to make a point with you, my partner. The night before Star Kid, the Nassau Coliseum in New York, it's Flair and Luger, they got to take on a formidable tag team in the Road Warriors. They certainly will, and Ric Flair, who will have his hands full on Star Cave with Ron Garvin inside steel, inside a steel cage. But they best not be thinking about Star Cade and Ronnie Garvin or the Nassau Coliseum the night before and the Road Warriors because young Shane Douglas and Ron Simmons are here and they mean business. You're and lot, they're not intimidated by reputation. A lot of times when you look ahead, Jim, to other matches, big matches, you think about other matches and people come in and beat you. And Shane Douglas and Ron Simmons are really handing it out. Except now, now this, comes the... It shows you how quick the tables can turn, especially when you've got a tactician like Ric Flair in the ring. He set the situation up. They delivered a, a crushing blow to Douglas, and then he got Lex Luger in there. Luger with the elbow. Luger is an awesome specimen. He is an awesome specimen. A man. I know the athletes are excited about Starcade. They're excited about coming to New York City. And we welcome the fans watching us here on WPIX and along our wrestling network from coast to coast. Great action coming to Los Angeles. Ice Flair is hammering Shane Douglas for those open hand chops of this echo in this pavilion. Nature Boy Ric Flair dropping the knee on the head of Shane Douglas, and we'll be back with more of this UWF main event on the Wrestling Network after this. And Lex Luger working over Shane Douglas here, and this is quite a battle, and I think it may be more than Ric Flair and Lex Luger anticipated when they first signed this match, because Shane Douglas and Ron Simmons, and especially Simmons, have looked extremely good. Taking over now on Shane Douglas. But Douglas retaliates with a sleeper hole. Sleeper, that's right, Jim. He's got the sleeper on Flair, and Flair cannot make the tag. But the four-time champion, Flair, came right out of it. Boy, he is a phenomenal competitor. And he will be going against Ronnie Garvin, steel on steel. Inside cradle. Can Douglas hold him? No, he can't. Of course, that's a rematch, that steel cage match at Starcade with Ronnie Garvin and Flair. No disqualification. There's going to be a winner. Lex Luger back in there hammering away at young Shane Douglas. And Douglas with the same aspirations. 
that a few years back a young Dusty Rhodes had. And Dusty lived the American dream. And he is a legend. And Mr. Luger, to be a legend, you must beat one. And you will have that opportunity on Thanksgiving in Chicago, Illinois. Boy, Simmons looked phenomenal in the early part of this match. He came within a hair of pinning Ric Flair. But since that time, Flair and Luger have separated Mr. Douglas from the pack and have not, they have not let him make any tag or any movement hardly to his corner. You cannot stay in the ring this long. Shane Douglas got to get out of there. Listen to those chops. Man, those chops. Simmons would like to get a piece of this action. 275 pound former nose tackle. He is not intimidated, but as far as that's concerned, neither is Shane Douglas. But there's just not a lot Douglas can do about it. He's in there with a master, but Flair made a tactical error right there. But Flair right back to the attack. That's the mark of a great champion. Douglas blocking the suplex. Snap suplex! Ric Flair snap suplex by Shane Douglas. And this crowd coming to life here. Flair makes the tag. Flair has tagged Lex Luger. Douglas, great drop kick. Another drop kick. It amazes me how the stamina that Shane Douglas exhibits. Oh. But that will take any stamina left in you out. That was a tremendous power slam. And now the human torture rack. And Luger's got him up. That's where he wants Dusty Rhodes on Thanksgiving. Can he do it? They've done it this time. Luger and Flair are victorious. Promotional consideration paid for by the following.